Assisting a patient from sitting to standing can be made simpler and safer by following a few key tips. Begin by asking the patient if they need help to stand. Caregivers sometimes forget this step and assume they need to do the work of hoisting the patient up to standing. This places undue stress on the caregiver and can throw the patient off balance, placing them at greater risk for a fall. If the patient can assist, allow them to do as much as they can safely on their own while guarding them closely. Instruct the patient to lift their bottom and scoot forward to the edge of the chair. Lifting the buttocks is an important step to avoid shearing the skin over the ischial and sacral regions. Notice that our caregiver stands to the side of the patient and performs a small squat, bringing himself to eye level with the patient. Being at eye level with the patient not only helps them feel more at ease with the assisting caregiver, but it also places the caregiver in the most optimal position to safely assist the patient to standing. He instructs the patient to place her feet shoulder width apart and, with an open palm on the patient's lower back, gently leans forward with the patient and rises along with her. Failing to have the patient scoot to the edge of the seat makes the transfer much more difficult for the patient and places a greater burden on the assisting caregiver. Allowing the patient to keep their feet together makes their base much less stable. If the patient can weight bear on both extremities, the feet should be placed at a comfortable shoulder width apart. The patient should not be allowed to grab onto the caregiver during the transfer, nor should the caregiver be pulling the patient by their arm. Both strategies are unsafe and ineffective when performing this type of transfer. Caregivers are often injured when a patient who has been allowed to grab onto them loses their balance. The patient will instinctively grab for the caregiver's neck, placing an immense load on the discs in the cervical spine. The chances of this happening are worsened when the caregiver stands in front of the patient to assist the transfer. When assisting the patient to sitting, it is best to avoid instructing them to turn around to look for their armrests. Instead, Encourage the patient to bend their knees and hips and begin lowering their bottom to the chair. As they do this, their armrests will become visible and the patient can then reach for them. Standing in front of the patient should only be utilized when performing a pivot transfer from bed to chair. This might be done for reasons of weight-bearing precautions or an extremely weak side. In this case, our patient is non-weight-bearing on the left. The left foot is positioned further forward prior to standing. The patient then stands and pivots on the weight-bearing foot while the caregiver keeps the patient steady and near.